Joining me right now with his take on the new plan, whether he thinks it's going to pass, is Republican Senator Richard Shelby of Alabama. Senator, good to have you here. Thank you. How are you voting? I'm voting yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Not because I think the bill will be perfect, because it won't be. I was a straight out repeal man, and still am, if that's could if that could be achieved. Mm -hmm. I'm not for the taxes. I'd like to knock those out. But what we have now for us would be a lot better than the Obamacare that we'll, we would revert back to. So okay. I'm a yes. Uh, it's yes, a start. But, uh, it's, it's a start. It's not a panacea, though. Okay. So do you have enough of you there? Uh, you've got Senator Collins. Uh, you've got others, uh, Rand Paul, saying they're not going to vote for this. So are you going to have enough folks in the yes column to get this one through? Well, you just asked the central question. Does he have 50? I don't know that. I don't know if he'll get 50, but he should. We should get 52 Republicans, but we're not going to get those. The question is, do we get 50 plus the vice president? I hope so, because it will be a lot better than what we have. And it would also help people keep their word when they ran to promise to repeal and replace. Any Democrats at all? Oh, I wouldn't think so. I don't know of any. If you find one or two, call me here. I'll let you know. But, you know, you, you just touched on something which I think it is so frustrating to many Americans right now. In other words, they sent you all there with a job, with a purpose, and it was to repeal and replace, by the way, That's Obamacare. Right. And if you can't get that done, what does it mean politically and economically? Well, we don't know. It won't, I don't believe it would be good news for us uh, if we fail to uh, meet our obligation to the American people, something we promised the American people, uh, the Republican caucus, caucus basically did. Uh, we need to go ahead and work hard to get it done. First step, not a perfect bill, but it's mm -hmm. better than what it, has, uh, it is today. Uh, we need to do it. We need to remember what we told the people when we ran, repeal and replace. Right. Repeal and replace was the whole mantra. Senator, you say you're not a fan of the taxes. I'm not a fan of the taxes either. And as I was just expressing to Rich Lowry, I have some concern because I think it's setting a precedent that you guys don't want, which is basically, yeah, you know, when push comes to shove, we'll just keep on taxing the wealthy. And you also campaigned, as did this president, on the idea of lower taxes for all Americans. So assuming Absolutely. this one goes through and you keep that tax on the wealthy, uh, what is it? What does it mean for tax reform later on down the road? Are the wealthy in jeopardy of, of losing uh, some of the tax breaks you promised? It would not be a good sign uh, for the future. Uh, we, as you said, we all have campaigned for fundamental tax reform, helping the middle class, lowering everybody's taxes, and, mm -hmm. and making government more efficient and so forth. Yeah, we need to keep that, keep our word. If we keep the high taxes on this, it's not a good sign. Okay. Well, we're, we're, we're in agreement on that. And I hate to say taxes for the, I should say taxes, you know, lowering taxes for the people that pay them. Because the reality is you have certain income brackets that are paying the majority of taxes. And any Econ 101 class would talk about how you need to get that money back into the economy. And you got to empower the people that are making it. Uh, let me also ask you, Senator, while I have you here, about the big story of the week, shall we say, and that's Don Jr. and his emails, and you have the likes of Tim Kaine out there saying that this is effectively treason. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. You know, I wish the Russian uh, uh, cloud would disappear and go well, on. I'm hoping it, at the end of the day it won't be as much well, what as do you it's mean you don't know, to be. You, know yet. you don't know whether but this is treason I don't or not? know. I don't know what's there. No one knows. And, but we've got a special counsel. We've got the Intelligence Committee in the House and Senate investigating that. Let's wait and see what they come up with, and then we will have more facts to talk well, about. Well, well, Senator, if you just saw those emails, and you saw that he, he took a, a meeting with someone who had connections to Russia, is that, in your view, actually treason? Because I spoke to law professor no. Alan Dershowitz last night who said that's actually threatening our democracy if we're going to say that you can't take a meeting and gain information and you're actually going so far as to say that is treason as Tim Kaine did. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's treason at all. That would be my understanding of treason. Uh, it, the optics aren't good, but uh, to carry it a step further legally, maybe no laws were broken. I don't know that. Nobody knows at this point. Mm -hmm. But politically speaking, you can understand why the likes of Tim Kaine or uh, oh, absolutely. Mr. Blumenthal are working that angle. And they'll continue to work that angle because 
they work optics, and right now it's optics more than it is substance. It could be substance, but it's not yet. Yeah. Well, Senator Shelby, uh, we, we hope you really do get down to some substance on health care. I think you. the uh, the country's with you on wanting to see something get done on that. Senator, so good to have you here. We appreciate Thank you. you.